Samsung has just revealed its investigation findings on the issues of the Galaxy Note 7. During its conference, Samsung has also announced new and enhanced quality assurance measures to improve product safety. It was really essential for Samsung to take big measures to try to regain consumers' confidence in its products. Following the Note 7 incident, Samsung has developed strict quality assurance protocol across its entire development process in an effort to renew its commitment to safety. It should let them to ensure better quality and safety for new products, like the Samsung Galaxy S8, which should be announced in April this year. The new enhanced safety measures hold in three major parts. The first part is the introduction by Samsung of an enhanced 8-point battery safety check. It should address safety from the component level to the assembly and chimpant of device. First point is a durability test. It starts with enhanced battery testing, including overcharging test, nail puncture test, and extreme temperature stress test. Second point is the visual inspection. Each battery will be inspected under the guideline of standardized and object criteria. Third point is the X-ray test. X-ray will be used to see the inside of the battery for any abnormalities. Fourth point is the charge and discharge test. The batteries will undergo large-scale charging and discharging test. to prove the resistance. Fifth point is a total volatile organic compound test. Samsung will test to make sure there is not the slightest possibility of leakage of the volatile organic compound. Sixth point is a disassembling test. The company will disassemble the battery to assess its quality, including the battery tab welding and insulation tab conditions. Seven point is the accelerated usage test. An intensive test simulating accelerated consumer usage scenario will be made on battery and devices. The last point is the Delta Open Circuit Voltage Test. They will check for any change in voltage throughout the manufacturing process from component level to assembled device. In this unsaid 8-point battery safety check procedure, some tests will be just NC like the durability test, the visual inspection, the X-ray test, the disassembling test, and Delta Open Circuit Voltage Test. Some other tests will be newly applied. It concerns charge and discharge tests, total volatile organic compound, and the accelerated usage test. It constitutes the 8-point battery safety check test for Samsung. The second part consists of an ANSID multilayer safety measures protocol which will, which will implement strict safety standards on every element of Samsung devices. It includes the overall design, the materials used with battery safety design standard, device hardware strengths, 
and capabilities and improved software algorithms for safer, better charging temperature, current and duration. Last part is a battery advisory group of external advisors created by Samsung. It is made up of academic and research experts. It must ensure the company maintains a clear and objective perspective on battery safety and innovation. Samsung will continue to hold the line even if they innovate. Members include professors from Cambridge, Berkeley and or Stanford universities. To conclude, I think Samsung hopes that this case will serve as an opportunity to improve the safety of lithium-ion batteries, not only for the company, but for the entire industry. The future of Samsung in the mobile will depend on this year with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the new Galaxy Note 8. We will see if the company can regain consumers' confidence and fight the growth of Chinese manufacturers throughout the world. Are you convinced by the measures taken by Samsung to ensure battery safety and improve quality and strength of its products? Tell me what you think about it in comments. And don't hesitate to subscribe to the SOL channel if you like this video.